watching City County Sports, The Coach's Corner with Dan Kroon. Brought to you by Bobby Wilson Furniture, Penn Station East Coast Subs, Legends, 54 Pizza Express, Trophy House, and Via Media. Hi neighbors, this is Barry Williams. It's another edition of Coach's Corner on City County TV. And I'm here with Coach Dan Cruz, head coach of the Apollo Eagles. Well, gentlemen, the new season's about to start Friday night, and the Eagles are about to fly. But, Coach, you've had a rough week with the passing of Taylor Whitmer. How has this affected your team? Well, it's, you know, it's been a very unfortunate situation that they've encountered. Um, you know, Taylor was is such an, a great kid. You know, he, he's one of those kids that comes in every day, he works. You know, you don't have to worry about his commitment level. He uh, has a great attitude. He's just a great person, uh, great dedication. And, and, you know, he's just an outstanding young man on the field, off the field, in the classroom and everywhere. So, you know, it, it was, it's been a tough tough week or so that that with dealing with that uh the kids i've been very proud of how they've responded uh you know when dealing with a with the the situation that we've been dealing with and uh and continuing to to try to work and improve and and play uh i've been very proud of how they conducted themselves over the last week and a half or so uh how they've gone about their business and and try to keep their focus and 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 doing what they uh, need to do to be successful. And, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those things that, uh, you know, it's going to take time to heal, and it's going to take time to get over it. He's such a, he was such a good kid. Uh, you know, you don't want to see it happen to any, any, any of the kids that uh, you encounter or, or that you're involved with. But, um, you know, he, he was such a good kid. Uh, you know, it really aches, it makes you ache that much more. Uh, you know, we just keep his families and, and, and him in our thoughts and our prayers and continue to uh, continue to try to work and get better each day and, and deal with it from day to day. Now, you're coming off two scrimmages against Muhlenberg County and Logan County. Now, scrimmage is a time where you learn what's going on with your team. What did you learn about your Eagles? Well, you know, we did a we had a three-way scrimmage, so we had uh, two quarters against Muhlenberg and two quarters against uh, Logan, and and you know, I learned a lot. You know, I was pleased with the way we competed. I was pleased with the way we worked as a, as a team and ca and came together and continued to fight and battle. Uh, you know, we saw a lot of really really high positives. Uh, uh, pleased with a lot of it. Uh, you know, but the, the, that, that scrimmage to me is important to really get out because you're going to see really ones against ones in a team setting and, and see kind of where you are and what you got and uh, see what you've got to improve on. So now it's, it's our goal now to, to take what we've uh, got out of the scrimmage and, and continue to build on the positives and continue to look at areas that we need to improve on and really focus on those and get those hammered out as we head into this next week. Did you have any bright spots during the – during the scrimmage. Yeah, we did. You know, we had, uh, I, I felt like uh, offensively we played pretty well. I felt like that, uh, you know, we had some uh, running backs that played, uh, that ran the ball extremely hard. Felt like our offensive line executed uh, fairly well. Uh, and, you know, we can continue to grow and get better there. Um, you know, I felt like our quarterback play was, was good. You know, it's, it was, uh, you know, we've had Michael Rasco and uh, Brandon Alexander battling all year. So, you know, we offensively is pretty pleased with that. Defensively, uh, you know, we got to continue to work on some things and get some things ironed out. We'll be back in just one moment. Stay tuned. Hear ye, hear ye. To all who be gathered here, give voice and pay homage with the appropriate awe and adoration to King Bobby the First. Amen, the first king. My royal supplicants, lend your ears to this royal decree. Only I, King Bobby, offer the biggest savings on quality furniture and accessories. Tis only King Bobby who bestows upon his tri-state subjects the lowest prices on bedroom suits, living room suits, and love seats. Bobby Wilson's Home Furnishings in Owensboro. Year after year, our Philadelphia cheesesteak is voted best tasting sub all around America. Join us in celebrating this founding father of flavor, this titan of taste, the often imitated but never duplicated Penn Station Philadelphia cheesesteak. Visit Penn Station today. 
For over 50 years, the Trophy House has been helping celebrate the times of your life with our unique selection of trophies, awards, and plaques. No matter what the occasion, the Trophy House has an award or trophy to remember that special event in your life. The Trophy House will personalize your gift with our state-of-the-art engraving process that allows us to make each award unique. And when you want that specialized giveaway product, all American advertising specialties can personalize everything from shirts to pins to calendars. The Trophy House, 511 Frederica. At 54 Pizza Express, our pizzas and sandwiches and pastas are all made fresh daily just for you. Fresh vegetables, delectable meats, rich tangy tomato sauce, and tons of rich mozzarella cheese. Post some ingredients, all carefully selected for their quality and taste. Just think about the delicious flavors bursting in your mouth from a fresh hot pizza made by 54 Pizza Express. Call, come in, or order online. Hi, neighbors. We're back on Coach's Corner, City County TV. Once again, I'm here with Coach Dan Kroom, head coach of the Apollo Eagles. Well, like I said, everybody's been ready and excited for Friday night. You guys take on Catholic. What are you expecting from Catholic? Well, you know, anytime you play Catholic, you're going to get a hard-hitting football game. And so you have to be ready physically and mentally to play a physical-style football game. Uh, they execute really well. They don't make mistakes. They get after the football and defense. Uh, they execute offensively. They got a lot of weapons on offense. And so we've really got to take care of our responsibilities and play through our responsibilities. But, you know, I expect uh, nothing more than a, than a team, the Orange Bowl Catholic team of hard hitting and, and physical play and getting after it for four quarters. Now, you've been coached for quite a while. Do you sleep, are you able to sleep before the first game of the season? Yeah, over time you, you kind of learn how to adapt and deal with that uh, and adjust with that. You know, there's a lot of anxiety, and that's one of the things we talk about with the kids is, you know, don't don't stay up, don't come to school on Friday and get all bent out of shape Friday morning and wear yourself out. You know, kind of kind of enjoy your day on Friday, and then as the day starts to wind down, start to get your mind focused. So, you know, we, as coaches, we try to try to take that response to, you know, there's still things that we're dealing with, you know, whether it be on away game or home game or whatever it may be. So, uh, yeah, but we, we try to do what we can do to sleep and, and get <laughs> get get our rest for the uh, for the uh, Friday night. Well, Coach, do you have anything you want to add? Yeah, you know, uh, Friday night, um, you know, we got uh, the schools, the cheerleaders have sold shirts to honor Taylor. Uh, it's a, a really nice, uh, nice gesture by them, and uh, we're gonna, you know, we're in a moment of, of silence before the game for him, and uh, some things like that. Um, you know, the biggest thing that I, I try to tell our fans and tell our people is, you know, come out, support the kids. Uh, you know, big thing is be loud, be proud. Yell for the team, don't yell at the team. And I think those two things, if you keep that in mind, that's big. You know, if we can if we can be loud and be proud and show the guys that, you know, that put in this hard work, that we got a lot of people supporting them. And, and, and remember that little rule of yell for the team and not at the team. I think that, uh, uh, you know, we, we can have a, a really good season and, um, and continue to grow. Well, there you go. All you Eagles fans, come on out Friday night and support your team. This has been Barry Williams with Coach Dan Kroom on Coach's Corner on City County Sports. Thanks for watching. You've been watching City County Sports, the Coach's Corner with Dan Kroom. Brought to you by Bobby Wilson Furniture, Penn Station East Coast Subs, Legend, 54 Pizza Express, Trophy House, and Via Media. If you would like to be a sponsor of the Coach's Corner and show your school colors, call Rod at 270-683-1094. Year after year, our Philadelphia cheesesteak is voted best tasting sub all around America. Join us in celebrating this founding father of flavor, this titan of taste, the often imitated but never duplicated Penn Station Philadelphia cheesesteak. Visit Penn Station today.